guys, what's up? It's Gemini Jet 2006 back, and today we're going to be doing a review on my Norwegian uh, 787 9. Uh, this is a great aircraft, and I definitely recommend it. So, uh, yeah, guys, how are you doing? It's Max back uh, from Gemini Jet 2006. And, um, yeah, I'm sorry I haven't been doing um, any airport updates. I've definitely been uh, working on a lot of model reviews, that's for sure, but I'm uh, working as hard as possible so uh, I can get these uh, going for you. But if it's the uh, summer and I got a lot of things going on, I got a lot of uh, fun things that I'm doing, so it's just kind of hard to get that, you know, little piece of um, uh, video or film that I need to get in. So I'm sorry I haven't been posting, but we got a new video for you guys right now, and I'm gonna make it as good as possible, and uh, should have a, um, a new airport update by today, tomorrow, or the next day. So, um, yeah, I'm going to uh, make it as good as possible. So, yeah, if you guys don't know, this is the Norwegian 787-9. Um, I'll first be uh, uh, showing you guys the box. So, it's pretty simple. It's really just a uh, box. Um, yeah, it says Norwegian on it, uh, .com, and it has Boeing 787-9 and one 400 scale die cast model aircraft. You got a... Uh, the aircraft on it um, so you can actually see what it looks like and this livery is in the Greta Garbo livery I actually never heard of her I looked it up and I found out that uh, that's the livery of it made for the collector by collector Gemini Jets look inside we go to the side we can go in here and we have just some you know stuff about the aircraft so uh, yeah uh, we got the uh, barcode no one need to see that um, Boeing 787-9, Gemini Jets, and the back is just a picture of the aircraft, uh, Gemini Jets as real as it gets, highly collectible, and, uh, yeah, just some more stuff, like your Facebook page. Boeing 787-9, and same thing for the other side, and, um, Gemini, and this, uh, video, um, uh, thank you, Gemini Jets, um, uh, this video is not sponsored by Gemini Jets, definitely not, I'm not big enough for that, but, um, yeah, I'd love them to sponsor me, that would be actually awesome, so, yeah, I don't even know if Gemini Jets is a sponsor, but, alright, so, um, yeah, that's the box, it's really, you know, just a regular Gemini Jets box, to be completely honest, they're all almost, they're literally almost all the same, um, but, yeah, now we're gonna get into the actual aircraft itself, so we can start, um, I'm thinking about starting with the back today. I don't know why. I, 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 for some reason, I just have, um, I've just been thinking today that I think I should start off with the back. So the back, as we can see, we have the highly detailed, um, tail that's right there, obviously. And it has Greta Garbo on it, which I'm pretty sure is a famous actress. Uh, for, like, Sweden or something. Um, or Norway, I don't know. Um. Then we got uh, the tail fins. We have the registration number, which is um, E I L N I, which not hundred percent sure what that is, but yeah, that's the uh, registration number. So I don't really know uh, what it means, but uh, right there we have um, right there on the bottom um, we have Dreamliner, and we have Norwegian.com, and we got some windows in the door, and we just have a little. Because you can say air filter, I think that is, but not 100% sure. Uh, right there, we have a cargo hatch um, uh, to load cargo on. And also, I'm pretty sure that's the hatch where they take one of the loaders that look like this. I'm going to show you real quick. It'll look like this guy right here. I'm pretty sure that's the hatch for that one. But uh, when this guy's at the gate, that's usually the, um, the hatch that I use for that. Um, yeah, you guys... If you guys go back on my videos, I'd, there's a couple videos where it's at the gate and you guys can see that part next to it. But yeah, pretty sure that's that's there, uh, right there. Um, we go to the back and it's uh, we can see the exhaust and we can just see a full, full, full view of the aircraft. On the other side is really the same exact thing. Uh, we just have another picture and a Dreamliner Norwegian and uh, the registration number. And then we have just another hatch that's, um, I'm pretty sure for just regular cargo. Um, we go to the engines. These are Rolls-Royce engines. Um, I'm pretty sure 
that these well, I'm actually gonna look at the box real quick. Um, this is Rolls Royce, two Rolls Royce uh, Trent 1000s, which are very, very powerful engines. Um, let's see a test on them on YouTube. Um, yeah, these are these, these uh, engines on the 787 that they're doing are um, absolutely insanely detailed. Um, they literally the the part of the aerodynamics for the aircraft right here, as you guys can see those little spikes, they did spot on on that. And uh, I think they did a really, really good job on the um, uh, the uh, engines. So now we're gonna flip to the other side, which is really the same exact thing. Uh, yeah. And right here it says Norwegian.com under the front. We'll go to the front now and then we can go to the wings. Uh, it says Norwegian.com as we can see. Um, it's I actually really, really dig their library. It's really nice. It's literally red, white, and blue. It's white, really like the whole entire back. And they have a little strip of paint that's blue, as you can see, and then the whole entire nose is just red. So it's pretty cool. And there's the door and the hatch number right there. Uh, I can't really see that good. I think it says LMI. Um, I can actually see real quick for you. LNI. Okay, pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'm going to flip to the very front now. We have the uh, cockpit windows. We have the windshield wiper right there, as you can see, and then we also have the nose cone uh, uh, that is connected to the front of the aircraft. And then we can go to the wings, which I think are actually pretty, pretty neat. Um, I like what they did for the emergency stripes. Um, yeah, you guys can see that. Um, it has the nose step, as we can see there, and then just that line that I'm pretty sure that you're supposed to walk on when there's an emergency exit of the aircraft. On the top here, we got the, um, what does that say? There's no way I'm going to be able to read that, but I'm pretty sure they're emergency exit hatches, if I'm not mistaken. We got the, uh, here, I'm just, just going to come up here. We have the, uh, two hatches, or, no, two antennas. There, we got another one in the back and one in the front. Got more emergency hatches. Um, and we can flip to the back now, uh, which is really nothing. Actually, there is something. It says Norwegian.com on the bottom. Got the really, really nice wheels. Um, and you also got uh, the, uh, the whole stand. And yeah, the Gemini just logo. And then you just got the last few details on the bottom. So. Yep, it's a really, really cool plane. I am in love with it, actually. I'm very, very happy that I got it, and it's very, very good, especially if you have a Fort Lauderdale International Airport. Um, and, guys, uh, just so you know, um, I was getting a couple comments. Uh, Gemini just 30 uh, said that uh, uh, British Airways doesn't fly uh, to Fort Lauderdale. And, as a matter of fact, they do. Um, I was actually going to the airport the other day. I was spotting. Um... Unfortunately, I couldn't take my camera because I'm not very good at editing. And basically, uh, you know, I, w I went to the terminal with at Fort Lauderdale and it even said um, British Airways Terminal 3 or something like that. And I was like, no way. So I'm spotting at around, I'd say maybe around 4.30. I'm pretty sure that's when I came in. And I see a huge 777-200 or 300. Um, I wasn't sure. It was, it was landing on the other runway and I couldn't get a very great shot of it but that thing was yeah they were definitely flying they were definitely starting to fly in British Airways um could have been a charter I'm not 100% sure um but yeah I'm sure that they're getting British Airways in and um if they do I'll be very very cool very very happy um because yeah British Airways um I got British Airways so that would be cool and uh also, guys, thank you guys for 50 subscribers. We finally hit that. I'm really, really happy. And uh, we should have the model here in about a few weeks or maybe even less than that. So um, thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you guys so much for 50 subscribers. And uh, as I said, I'll do a two-day special, so they'll definitely hope that I can make another video tonight. And if not, there will definitely be another video out tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching. This is Joe Just 2006 signing off. And uh, comment down below if you want more reviews of whichever aircraft. Um... I have on this table. So, uh, yeah, guys. Um, Gemini Jets 2006. Signing off. Bye, guys.